Welcome to day 58 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're going to see how we can change images right on the Webflow canvas without having to go to another tab using the Unsplash Webflow app. This is super useful. It's going to save you a lot of time and it is very, very SEO friendly to use. So without further ado, let's check this out. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's go. So I find myself sometimes in need of an image right within the canvas of Webflow. So in this case, I duplicated this four times and now I have this image duplicated. So what I need is instead of me going to unsplash.com, downloading an image, changing the name, compressing, doing all that, I just need the image directly here. And in order to do that, so I will just have the Unsplash Webflow app within Webflow. So you just get the Unsplash app, you connect it to your website, you launch it here, you will get this little widget, and you'll just click on the image that you want to change and just you know, get that image, which is super simple, you just click and it's already there, uh, you can do this multiple times, so let's click this, so now I have this image four times, uh, I'll just change this image as well, and you'll see that once you click on the image, you'll see that it is, it is getting it its attributes or it's getting its source from Unsplash directly. So you're not technically downloading this image, you're not uploading it on your file. It's just connecting a link from Unsplash. So that's even better for performance. Um, so just need, I just need to style them all the same. So instead of Unsplash image, it will be called image full. Yeah, this is it. So it was already called image full, you just delete that splash combo class or class they create. And then uh, let's publish, let's check this in terms of SEO and in terms of Google Lighthouse. Because again, this is not the actual image, this is just calling the image from Unsplash. So if we click on open image in the tab here, you will see that it's still image.unsplash. And if I um, run a test for this and see well what's what's google lighthouse or how it is reading it or if it's causing any errors in the sense so let's see how that is now the images are good like they're crisp they're super high resolution and they loaded fast they didn't take much to load like i'm sure they're huge in size but they loaded fast you see even google lighthouse uh, has no problems loading them, uh, there was no issues here and everything seems to be fine. Uh, so yeah, so this is now Unsplash right within your Webflow environment, which is super cool, super useful, it saved me a ton of time. Thank you for watching this video, I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. See you tomorrow.